the best finisher that you played with? David Trezeguet. Over. Yeah. Easy. I I never seen like that before in my life. Better than Dennis. Oh, David Trezeguet hands down is the best finisher that I've ever seen. And I, and you know how much I love Dennis Bergkamp. The best example for me. People do not understand the goal he scored at the Euro, final of the Euro. How hard that is. He's taking a step back. Do you remember well? Yeah. He's stepping back to generate power with your left foot. You remember the power that mm, he put? Yeah, yeah. If it's me, I don't know where the ball would have gone. But the game is not only about uh, run, fight, and, and all of that. The brain is here. The, 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 sorry, the, the game is here. And people do underestimate the power of the brain because ultimately I never saw anyone uh, getting messages from their body to the brain. So I like a guy that can. The goal of Dennis Bergkamp, for example, I'll give you the goal of Dennis Bergkamp against Leicester. Yeah. And he did the same thing in the World Cup against, against Argentina. You know that's what he wanted yeah. to do. The likes of Ian Wright. The likes of Nicolas Anelka. You know, in my eyes, that was one of the best strikers ever. I know people might disagree, that's my opinion. Could you tell us about um, the, the type of finishing sessions you do at Arsenal? What, what were they like? They were always extreme situations and, and, and conditions, because I always believe that you need, whatever you do, you need to train in, in an extreme way. I always used to try to work out in front of the goal where there was no angle. Every now and then, obviously, sometimes you finish, you finish how you want to finish, but I always gave my, 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 myself challenges. So, for example, tight angles, can I bend it from me? OK, if I can bend it from there, so if I have more angle in the game, it's a, it's a done deal. Same thing, I used to always uh, take Martin Keown at the end of the training session, and I used to tell him, I'm going to beat you here. <laughs> no, I'm going to beat you here, because I wanted, the, I wanted the, the quickest, toughest, meanest guy on me, yeah. because if I can deal with him, then I can deal with anyone. And I used to tell him, I'm going to beat you there. He said, what? I said, yes, I'm going to beat you there. You see, there's no space. That's why where, that's where I'm going <laughs> to go. And you know, he, he won a couple of battles, but out of 10, sorry, Martin, I used to beat you <laughs> eight times. And there was another thing I call it, I call it, sorry, freeze the keeper. So it's, it's, it's an easy one. You know, if the ball comes and I'm running and I don't look at the keeper, he's going to creep out and close all angles that he can close and be as, 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 as close to me that he can be. But when that ball, when that ball is coming and is about to be in a, in a position where you can smash it, I used to look at the keeper always. When you do that, it stops. Okay. You have to stop. What does he do is, I call it freezing the keeper, understand? Momentum, 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 he can push on his leg really far, wherever you want to go. Momentum, momentum, freeze. He can then not push, then it's on you and your tactic and the repetition that you've been doing for a very long time, every day in training, to beat him. If you curve that ball well enough, I don't know any human being that can go and get a ball that's curved properly well, away from the goalkeeper and in. At the beginning of my career, you always remember individual moments, right? But then goals that made you win something, goals that made you win, not only because it's not especially me scoring it. Right. It's when you reach your goal as a team, there is nothing better than that. So it's not a, it's not, it's not a goal that I scored, it's a goal that we scored that made us win something as a team. There's nothing better than that. And, and you know, I can, you know, Leo Messi in the final of the, of, of the Champions League, because obviously, as you know, Samuel Eto'o also, because as you know, I never won it. So I was like, oh my God, finally. Uh, you know, game, games that I scored goals that I won name, whatever it is, uh, uh, other goals, World Cup, Euro, you know, games that you, you, you're like, oh yes, I remember that. And then, when I came back to play for Arsenal, and you ask any fans in the world, what they would like to do one day is play for their team and score a goal for their team. And you know, all my time at Arsenal, because I was on the mission, because my head was down and they play, 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 I didn't get that feeling that I was an Arsenal fan. I was an Arsenal player. But then when I left, I'm like, oh, now I can be a fan. So I left as a fan and I came back as a fan, actually. And, and I was embracing every single thing. And then I get the chance to, uh, the opportunity to score that goal. And on a personal point of view, he wasn't the best goal in the world, he wasn't whatever and whatnot, but for me, he actually uh, meant the world at that particular moment. So if I could relieve a moment on the personal point of view, it would be, it would be the goal when I came back. Superb. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks a lot. Top, man. I appreciate it. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you, man.